this video, I'm going to show you six exercises that you can do absolutely every day. I'm just going to work from your neck all the way down your body. They'll do you some benefit, and I recommend you do them every day, but you know, you can do them whenever you want, if you remember, if you want to. Who cares? Right. We're going to start with the head and work downwards just so it's easier to remember. First of all, chin tucks. Give yourself a double chin, as if someone was throwing a pie in your face. You're like, ah! We spend so much of our day looking down, hunched and focused. The chin tucks will help reverse some of the bad effects. It will also remind you to keep a better neck posture. Second is the YW exercise. Focusing on the scapula movement rather than the arm movement. You can either do this on an exercise ball as such, or you can do it standing up wherever you are. These will help you with any upper back pain, neck stiffness, rounded shoulders or hunched back. It will also allow you to breathe deeper. These help open up the chest and strengthen the back. The Y works on the lower traps. The W works on the rhomboids. If standing up, you want to hold it there for 10 seconds, three sets. If you're lying on a ball, or on your bed, you can do this for 10 reps, 3 sets as well. And you can add weight if you feel appropriate. But make sure you focus on the movement of the scapula and not the arms. But focus on the bringing your scapula inward and squeeze. Next is the cat camel. This one helps you with any back pain or stiffness. However, if you have any degenerative spinal conditions such as spinal spondylolisthesis or spinal stenosis, where there is narrowing of the spinal canals, then stay away from any of these exercises and consult a professional practitioner before doing any of these. To perform the cat camel, get into this position and cushion your knees if it hurts. Then arch your back up like a camel, then down like a cat. Do these very slowly and remember to breathe. Fourth is the glute bridge. I've taught this before on this channel it's just an amazing exercise to do. It works on your glutes, hamstrings, and stretches to the hip flexors. Very good for people who sit down a lot. Repeat 10 to 15 times, three sets. And as a progression, you can lift one leg up. Again, avoid this if you have any degenerative spinal disease, namely spondylosis and spondylolisthesis. And fifth, another one for the posterior chain. It's called the bird dog. First, you're a dog then you're a bird, then you're a dog and then you're a bird again. Alternate between sides. It's left hand right leg and right hand left leg. Keep your neck tucked in and align with your spine. Keep your hips level, don't let your hips drop. This one is good for anyone with scoliosis or lower back pain. Just aligns and stabilizes the spine and hips. It mainly works on the rectus abdominis, erectus spinae, which is a very important muscle for posture and also the glutes. The sixth and last exercise is called the spinal roll. This one is for spinal mobility. Start with your neck, shoulders and slowly, very slowly roll your body downwards and let your arms hang like sushi. You roll seaweed, it becomes sushi. You roll burrito, it becomes sushi. You roll a dollar bill, it becomes sushi. Be sushi, my friend. Let your arms hang down. If at any point this becomes too uncomfortable, very slowly roll back up and then come down again. If you have a slipped disc or herniated spinal disc or any known back pain at the moment, make sure you see a physiotherapist before trying this exercise. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe and leave a comment below. I'd like to know which exercise you'll be doing every day. And the concept of exercise can be traced back to 600 BC. And also, how did the person who created the first clock know what time it was?